My companions and I have been busy in the last few days here in the Exalted Plains. After a rest from the long day of fighting with Undead, we found enough supplies for the Empress's garrison at Citadel Corbeau, and then had bear pelts brought in from the Emerald Graves to the southeast of here. But before I gave the pelts to the Dalish clan, I decided to track down the landmarks for the two treasure maps and be done with it. With the bear pelts, the Dalish clan would now be taken care of for the winter. Loranel was now free to join with the Inquisition as an agent. I don't believe it. You convinced the Keeper. He said I can join the Inquisition if I wish. Keeper Howen has given you permission to join the Inquisition. He has. I'll repart to your camp in the south if that's all right. Carry on, agent. But the greatest victory came when I spoke to their keeper afterwards. Dalen, I was wrong about your inquisition. Although the humans named you herald of their prophet, your devotion to your people is undiminished. Perhaps you will be the bridge that others hope you are. If Lorenel still wishes to join you, he has my blessing. Gareth Shiral, Dalen. This ended any need for me to remain in the Exalted Plains. Now I am free to make our moves directly against Corypheus. Reports have come in. For more lay. Identity Venatory Agent. An excerpt from the Ben Hazrath information report. The target was eliminated, and as expected, all other targets went into hiding. Duke Tithus did not locate our operatives during his search. Information the Duke found on the corpse revealed the smuggler's venatory involvement. Duke Tithus has cut off trade with the Deventer Imperium and is thoroughly investigating his city. Hunter Fell is no longer subject to venatory influence. Per his request, Operative Iron Bull will receive further intelligence reports to continue his efforts. Supplies from Saharan have also been dispatched. Making friends with the Canari is kind of an odd concept. But we'll take all the help we can get. An offer from the Imperial Army. Commander, a fine victory. May our enemies feel its sting. Chevalier Doucette. That really didn't explain very much now, did it? Bestow Morning Halla. Report ready. Inquisitor, thank you for convincing the villagers of Red Crossing to Acrisis. I understand that they were reluctant, but perhaps the sign of shared mourning will lead to new healing and growth. Please accept these gifts. May they aid your Inquisition in its quest, Keeper Howen. A great sword. No use to me. Okay. We do need to look for the weakness in Samson's army, or armor and speak with Minister Belize at the that we met at the party. She could he could help. Josephine. Ambassador Montillier. Forgive the late reply. Wonderful as it is to hear from you. I have just ridden from trouble in the Dales. The Civil War has made managing my holdings even more difficult. It would be much easier if I had the ear of the Council of Heralds, but alas, fortune has left me poor in that regard. The Inquisitor is always welcome at one of my humble fets. I only regret that it may not be as grand as I would like. Please, dear lady, promise me you will warn his worship that my preoccupation will preclude a richer evening with my guests. With deep regard, Marquise Wiscott. Josephine says, The Marquise is clearly fishing for an, an introduction to the council before I attend his party. I'll arrange one. At your service. That's important because of the uh, death contract on Josephine and her family. 
Okay, so our diplomat is busy. There's really, nothing much to do besides gathering resources, which... Oh, deal with Lord Basil Moron. What is that? Dearest Josephine, do you recall the last letter I sent about the new volunteers who have reported to Sullivan Keep to help with our efforts? Lady Doucette, daughter of Lord Basil Moron, was one of them. We were unaware of her real identity because she came to be disguised as a villager. Unfortunately, Lord Basil has just now discovered the whereabouts of his missing daughter and has accused the Inquisition of kidnapping her. Lord Basil's a colorful... Lord Basil's colorful slander of the Inquisition has cast a shadow on our relations with wealthy Southern Orlesian society. Complicating matters, Lady Doucette refuses to return to her father and the gilded cage of a gentlewoman. I can't very well tie her up and deliver her to the Lord in a barrel, can I? Sincerely, Edouard. Well, Josephine is busy at the moment. But that does seem important, actually, because it's dealing with the Southern nobility in Orlais. Um, okay, so... Capitalize an alliance with Fairbanks, that could be important. What pride have wrought? Now this is the area, Southern Orlais, where it is believed Corypheus and the remainder of his forces have gone to. Uh, continuing research. What is that? This is on the dragon? A neatly filed request form copied in triplicate and delivered to the appropriate parties. Request tissue samples from carnivores found in Central Orlais and along the outskirts of the Western Approach. See attached list. Soil samples from areas surrounding closed fade rifts. Access to field reports containing references to local fauna. A copy of Gregor's Worthing's Halla in the Heather? Worthing's Halla in the Heather, Wolves in the Woods, and Naturalist Observations. Apologies, but I lost my copy when the circle rebelled. Purpose. The commander has expressed satisfaction with the practical applications of my previous findings. To continue my research, I would conduct an in-depth exploration of the Inquisitor's environmental impact, specifically the sealing of fade rifts on local species. Signed, Helsima Darrington, Inqu Inquisition Researcher. I don't doubt that that would be important, but... Well, maybe Cullen can do it. But I want to see about... This is probably a diplomatic... Thing. Learn more about dragons, claim Grey Warden Cash. That could be important. House Amlandris? I'm not. I don't know about that. Red Jenny and the Bad Goods. College of Magi. Archives of Montfort. Choose successor and Lides. Dance with the Deliger. The Alamond. Okay, so let's capitalize on the alliance with Fairbanks. I've been told that the Council of Heralds has reviewed the evidence and is now recognizes every mark known as. Known to us till now as Fairbanks, as the sole heir of Lord Jeru Lamarck, all holdings and chattel retained by the Lamarck Noble House have bit now reverted to the ownership of Lord Evrys Lamarck. I smell an opportunity, Josephine. Okay, I think that uh, one of you can go on this, while the other goes on the previous mission that was uh, laid out. As I understand it, Fairbanks never wanted to acknowledge who he was. It was you who allowed word of his heritage to be revealed to the Council of Heralds. I say we leave him alone. Let him retain his privacy. What little's left? Mm. We need all the help we can get. Lord Everest Lamarck, I would like to see how he fares at court. The game is merciless, and even its best players often falter. A forest-dwelling loner? He'll be butchered. But given an easy target, predators often become arrogant and expose their weakness. We'll be watching. But what do you plan to do? Seems like a mission for Josephine as well. I'm gonna send Liliana on. That. Let's see what we have. Continuing research. Cullen, my men can gather the necessary supplies. He wants to know the impact on, from the fade rifts. Actually, it could be extremely important, but. I don't know just how pressing that is. I'm going right. to go with that for now. There are other things, such as dealing with Orlesian politics, choose a successor in Lides, dance with the Dallinger. It could be, sounds like something Liliana would get involved in. Um, Archives of Montfort, I don't know what that's about. The College of Magi, strange, investigate the strange chalk markings, negotiate deal for weapons plan. So that could be important. Red Jenny. Obviously, we know that's for Sarah. A favor return. There's several other, not seriously important, but somewhat important missions to be performed, and I am unaware of the one to figure out Samson. Finding Samson's weakness. Here it is. 
The Red Lyrium is very strange. How Samson's armor hasn't killed him, I don't know. I can find out, but it'll be time and money. Tools, tests, and some books I remember from a circle or two. If they aren't stolen or burned, in which case, I'll need to write them. And ink isn't cheap, Dagna. Well, obviously she'll need an agent to help her. But that sh I didn't know that that was uh, in Ferelden. I thought it was Norlay. I think I just forgot about it. Once the agents come back, this will be the number one goal, to do that. In the meantime, since they're going to be busy for a while, I'm going to take a party, and we're going to head out to the Forbidden Oasis. But before we do that, I believe Vivian wanted to talk to me. Ooh, another one of those books. Hello? Inquisitor, I wonder if you might help me with a delicate situation. There is an alchemical formula that I must complete, but I have been unable to obtain a critical ingredient. The heart of a snowy wyvern. I had arranged to obtain one, but the Chevaliers working with me were killed in the Civil War. If I'm going to hunt down a snowy wyvern, I need you to tell me everything you know about it. They're quite rare and exceedingly dangerous. Their venom is the most potent of any wyvern. Ordinary hunters would not make the attempt. The risk is too great. You, my dear, would certainly be an equal to this monster. I didn't know you were an alchemist, Vivian. What exactly is this project you're working on? It is a special request from a member of the Council of Heralds. I am still the Imperial Court Enchanter, after all. The matter is private. That is all there is to say. I'm not a hunter. Why do you think I can help? This beast is not hunted for sport, as other wyverns sometimes are. It is far more deadly. In the past, chevaliers have been dispatched to either kill the creatures or drive them away from villages. Since my chevaliers have fallen to political conflict, I find myself in need of someone with a martial aptitude. I suppose I can help you then. I'll do what I can. Thank you, my dear. I would be most grateful. I shall give the location of its lair to Cullen. Remember, my dear, I must have its heart or the potion will not work. I eagerly await your success. I've killed many dragons, but uh, tracking down and hunting its never really been my thing. Most of the my clan could do it, but not those studying to be the next Hiram. Vivian's alchemy notes, a suitable replacement for the Primatus root must be derived as the plant went extinct during the second blight. Dried red moss cut from a wandering hill has shown similar restorative effects. An emulsion of silverite and elf root extract can counteract the fatal toxicity of red moss. Interesting. The solution must be heated for exactly 75 minutes with magical flame. Mundane fires, regardless of fuel type, have been found to burn at a too low a temperature. The heart of the snowy wyvern must be added at the last possible moment. The compound becomes unstable when exposed to light, even if stored in perfect darkness. It is only viable for three days and begins to degrade in potency in a matter of hours, and experimentation has shown that the age regression effects decreases steadily over time from the moment it is synthesized. By the second day, the results are almost too subtle to detect, and by the third, it is entirely useless. Is she trying to stay young? Age regression? She's trying to become younger. Uh... Well, now I know what she's up to. I can't to. make heads or tails of this. Age regression? Who is this potion for? That's a good question. It may not just be for her. Certainly not for me. She's married to someone. Some noble, wasn't it? I've never met him. Maybe it's for him. Maybe he's really old and I've been... Maybe this isn't the first wyvern heart she's had to track down. Alright. See if Cassandra has anything to say. It's been some time since I've spent alone time with her. This always seems to be your favorite spot. 
The sight of you warms the heart. <laughs> I was hoping we could spend some time together. You need not even ask. This place is like an escape from reality. It's beautiful though, I'll give it that. Got to get above to where the entrance is. Looks like it's all... I'd forgotten about this door. Two more doors, I think, would open it. Do we have enough shards right now? Maybe we do. I've been hunting these shards to open these doors for months. Which one was it? I think it was the fire room. It was the last. coins all over the floor here. We have to have enough shards. I've investigated every place that I can think of. One more door open. More corpses. So that's what that does. <laughs> that sigil on the ground. Corpse heart. It's a very hot room. Sweating profusely. Things to sell. Gold all over the floor again. I'm surprised those corpses didn't burn up. It's like an oven in here. I'm sure they cooked. Cooked some. More coins over here. There's the final door there. I'm sure we can open that. Is there anything else here? Not that I can see. Let's open this. Essence of fire. Rune material. Belt. Ring. Yes. It's imbuing me with magical resistance to fire. Last door. No. How many more shards could it possibly want? Eight more shards. Uh, well, that might be the final door to the entire place, so we have to return here? I thought this would be our final trip. I guess I'll have to make my way back to the war room then. With the days traveled time spent coming out here and going back, the agents should be free again. I hear something off in the distance. So I was wrong. The uh, White Wyvern is in the Exalted Plains, and on the way back, I decided to take a visit out here to see if we can track it down. I hear some kind of bellowing off in the distance. way to get through there was through... It was like a tunnel. Wasn't it down here? Or was it up here? Yeah! yeah, it was a tunnel that we had to have the engineers dig through. 
but I don't think it's right here. I'll have to find it again. Yeah! I know the area when I see it. And this is it. Whoa! The white wyvern is supposedly in this area. all this, but didn't we have to go through a tunnel to get there? I think that we did. <gasps> Is this not the way? Snowy wyvern. I don't know if it's white. It may be gray. Or white speckled, who knows. I'm gonna find this thing if I can. Yes, down here. I don't really want to come back here, but I guess it's for Vivian. She's helped out the Inquisition immensely. Yes, here is the puzzle I had to solve. Past all this. <gasps> Daylight's ahead. Last time I came right through here, a dragon flew overhead. Now we're hunting a wyvern. It gets soaking wet again. It's partly somewhere by where the other dragon was, the electrical dragon. Maybe it's moved into this area now that there's an opening since the dragon is dead. Oh, that wasn't a wyvern. I've killed them before. Gurgut. Eyes peeled. <laughs> Could be anywhere up here. It's not as big as a dragon. At least I don't think it will be. it. Well, it's white, like I kind of thought it would be. It's not a gurt gut.
I think that is a wyvern. Okay. Take it down. Carve out his heart. Okay, she wanted this. Walk through your own flames, Dorian. Now let's return to Skyhold. Also, just found the last book that was we were looking for. All the stolen books, hard in high town. What can I do for you, my dear? Is it too much to hope that you've brought me the heart of the Snowy Wyvern? If you want the Wyvern's heart, you'll tell me what you're using it for. I can do better, darling. Give me the heart and I'll show you what it's for. Will that suffice? All right. One heart has requested. How kind of you. Please accept this as your payment. I must begin work immediately. I should apologize. I must admit that I had completely misjudged you, Inquisitor. I would like you to come with me to see this through. This should only take a moment, Inquisitor. I'm here, my darling. I had no idea he was ill. Vivienne. Yes, darling. It's going to be all right, my love. My darling, Bastien? Vivienne, I'm sorry. There's nothing here now. I knew her husband was an Orlesian noble, but I had no idea that he was on his deathbed. Far be it for me to suggest a training adjustment. Inquisitor. I'm very sorry, Vivian. Bastion is dead. I can hardly believe. It was the Winter Send Ball. My first visit to the Imperial Palace. The Circle sent a dozen of us to entertain the nobility. I was in awe of everyone and everything, and then our eyes met. Bastion spent the entire ball at my side. The Dowager tried to have him killed for slighting her, but he didn't care. <laughs> Falling in love across a crowded ballroom. Sounds like something out of a children's story. He was a dashing rogue, and any defects he might have had were made up for with rank and importance. It was a more innocent time, I suppose. And now he's gone, and I... I must write to his son, Laurent, and his sister will make a terrible fuss if she isn't informed first. And I'll need to arrange for the Chantry services. Maker only knows how long that will take. I'm so sorry for your loss, Vivienne. You're too kind. I'll mend. Excuse me, I have so much to do. And so do I, it seems.
Thank you.